So to start off today's look, I'm going to be using MAC Fix Plus Spray to prime my skin because I really want like a nice glowy look. Next I'm using MAC's 2-in-1 Tinted Serum. So what this product is, it's basically a serum, like a um, skincare serum, but the tinted part you can use during the day as foundation. And so my skin has been acting a little funny when I put really heavy foundations on. So I'm using something really lightweight, but I'm going to put on powder right afterwards. So I love this product because it's basically a skincare item that's basically acting like a foundation that's gonna help my skin throughout the day. Next, I'm gonna conceal anywhere that I feel like the tinted serum did not um, do as much coverage. So obviously underneath my eyes, I'm gonna do a little bit like on my forehead and so, um, on some other blemish areas. And I'm using Max uh, Select Cover Up in NC42. Um, I love this concealer because it's actually a matte finish. A lot of people have a misconception that the MAC Pro Longwear uh, concealer is a, is a matte finish, but this is actually the only concealer that is a matte finish from MAC. So that is why I love this concealer. infallible um, powder, their foundation powder, and I'm taking it on a kabuki brush and pushing that all into my skin, and that's gonna give me really like that coverage that I want um, to help kind of even out my skin. So now I'm gonna be bronzing my skin, and I'm gonna be using the um, Buxom Bronzer in Maldives, and the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC in the color Dark Deep. And I love mixing these two because it really gives me that bronzed look that I want. And I'm using the MAC 135 brush. I love how flat this brush is. It really gives me a nice like bronzed look without, you know, getting in too many places where I don't really want it. Blush, I'm going to be taking the um, powder blush from MAC in Full Fuchsia on a Sigma tapered um, F25 uh, tapered face brush and all you need to do is legit just tap this right into the um, blush very very lightly. This is such an intense blush so you do not need a lot of it. Next, moving on to my eyes. I already did my brows off camera just because my brows are a little bit messy um, today. So I just, you know, have to take a little bit more time to do it. So I just did that off camera. But I am using two palettes from MAC. I am using the Purple Times 9 and the Navy Times 9. So I started off in my crease with one of the colors in the Navy Times 9. It is the color called Copper Plate. And this is a color that is actually sold separately at MAC. And so I am buffing that all in my crease. That's gonna be really um, my transition shade and really gonna help blend out any of those other colors that um, I'm gonna be putting onto my eyes. And now next I am using the bluish color in here called JG Gray. Really confusing a little bit, but it's okay. And I'm so I'm using that on the same brush. I'm actually gonna be using the same brush for basically the entire look. Um, I really like doing that. It kind of helps blend everything together. And so I'm just placing that all over the lid. Um, it's okay if a little bit gets in your crease, but you know, I'm really just placing it all on the lid. Now going into the purple palette, I am taking the um, darker purplish color called, I don't even know what it's called, Bon Nuit or something. Um, it's the one in the middle, uh, the middle row all the way at the end. And I'm going to be focusing that mainly on the outer corner of my eye, but taking it a little bit up into the crease. And I'm gonna blend that out as much as possible. And uh, because then I'm gonna be going in with a darker color that is gonna really help um, make this eye a little bit more of a dramatic look and a little bit more smoky. Now 
I'm going in with my last color and I'm going to be using that last color in the palette called Shadowy Lady from MAC and that is also sold separately at MAC and I am going to be um, really focusing that right in that outer uh, corner of the eye, really just kind of pushing it in and not, you know, placing it all over the eye. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going to be mixing those last two colors that we did and I'm going to just push that right into the lower lash line and smudge that out as much as I can. Now for the sparkle of the, of the look, and this is my favorite part of the look, I'm taking Light Touch from MAC. It is a pressed pigment. I'm just taking this on my fingers. I find that this is the best way to apply this product, is just using your fingers. And so I'm placing it basically all over that blue shade, um, shadow that we did first, um, all over the lid. You don't have to really take it anywhere else on the, um, on the eye look. I'm just really focusing it right on the lid. Um, right over that uh, light blue color that we're doing. And I just love this pressed pigment. It just looks so pretty when the sun hits it and like when any light hits it, it just looks like glitter all over your eyes. And it's so pretty. I absolutely love this. I suggest getting this color and all the other colors that they have because it's so, so pretty. Now I'm just gonna be blending um, just any harsh lines and there's some of that glitter that kind of get like got into the um, upper crease and I'm just kind of blending all that out. It's okay if it looks a little bit messy. I'm not really going for a perfected, perfected look. Um, and I put a little bit of that light touch right in the corner of the eye just to make it a little bit brighter as well. And now I'm just cleaning up. So now for my liner, I'm gonna be using the Inglot Black Gel Liner in the color 77. And I love this liner. It is the blackest liner that I know of, and I absolutely love it. It goes on smooth and perfect, and I can get a really nice crisp um, line out of it and a crisp wing out of it. And I'm also gonna be placing this um, in my waterline as, as well, too. This stuff stays in the waterline so well. I don't know any other black gel liner that stays in the waterline as well as this one. on and these are the goddess lashes from Coco and I absolutely love these lashes they are so intense and so pretty and just so like glamorous they just really made this eye look I oh my gosh love 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 these lashes everyone needs to go out and get a pair of these lashes like right now absolutely every day of my life now that I have it in my hands I am going to be using Jaclyn Hill champagne pop from Becca and as my highlight and oh gosh I don't even, like I keep saying that I love stuff in this video but this is like the one thing that's like now my favorite in my entire basically makeup collection and I'm just dusting this all over my face basically I just want to be highlighted with this champagne pop all over my face and it's just so pretty I oh, 
I can't. And now I'm taking, I'm lining my lips with MAC In Anticipation Pro Longwear Liner. This is my favorite pink liner of all time. I seriously will use it with every single pink lipstick that I own. It is so pretty and it just actually keeps my lipstick on longer because, because it is a Pro Longwear uh, lip liner as well too. Next, I'm going in with Angel from MAC, and it's just a light pink um, lipstick color. It's a frost, um, but it's not too frosty, which is really good, um, and I love this color because it's still like kind of neutral, but still pops a little bit as well, too. And then I'm going to be popping Rambutan Gloss from Bite Beauty on top of it, just to give it a nice glossy effect. And this is the final look. I am glad that you guys watched my video and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.